Hello YouTube, it's Doss Gregor, and please don't let the beardless man scare you. Yes, it is true. I got a little too close to a razor yesterday, and I let it all go. <laughs> so, it's starting to grow back already. You know, I won't let it get as long as it did before try to keep it a little bit more under control for a while <laughs> it was getting a little bit uh, unmanageable it's pretty sad when you have to carry a comb not for the lack of hair on the top of your head but to make sure your beards all combed out <laughs> this week for our distro first impressions we are looking at Makulu Linux Makulu Linux is a Debian based distribution and it is a hippo based distribution. I think every background that I've found so far has a hippo in one shape or form or another. Makulu has been very stable but what do you expect? It's based off of Debian and Debian has been wonderful. It works very well. It has a very nice theme to it. I like the look and feel of Makulu Linux. As you can see in my GUVC, we've got this interesting little window decoration with the yellow, green, and red. At first, when I got it, I was a little nervous because I was like, well, they could mean the same things what you expect them to mean. And they do. They do. But I was kind of afraid at first to choose which one at least the yellow and the green but very Christmassy colors don't you think yellow green red yeah they look pretty nice so I've been using Makulu for a little bit and it's been very good very stable no concerns it wasn't that difficult at all to get the GUVC video installed here and the simple screen recorder of course took a little bit of time but it always does when I'm installing it from scratch especially in Debian that is the one thing you know when you're installing it from the source code you've got to install a lot of development packages you know, when you build a system and it's more of a bin distribution meaning that it installs packages it doesn't expect you to compile software so you have to go through and find all the development packages that have the headers and other files if you need to compile another package from source. The biggest issue of course is knowing which QT development package to grab because there's so many of them but in the end I was able to get it working quite well. Makulu comes like I said with its own little theme its own icons you'll notice down here that the graphic icons are a little different it's kind of nice and whimsical the boot screen is quite interesting I'm not sure I should be able to get that if I go into the settings area and show you the boot screen let's just see it as you can see too this looks a little different I believe it's under startup and shutdown and no it's not you know I don't play around with that stuff enough to figure out where it's at so give me 2.4 seconds and maybe a yawn or two and I will find it for you and we're back and here it is the Makulu splash screen let's see if we test it if you can see what it does because it, it's interesting and there we are Makulu Linux coming right up now at first you know I I did a review on Dudu Linux and then I did one on Quimo Linux which were both children's distributions for Christmas and I do hope that Santa was good to you all and that you all had a great Christmas or whatever celebration you do celebrate during this time of year I hope that that all went well but when I first saw this I thought oh is this another children's distribution because it has a very childlike splash screen to me but it's still nice it's still good so we can minimize this back again I like that you know this is what I've talked about how 
sometimes when I install a distribution, it just feels like the last distribution, which felt like the last distribution, which felt like the last distribution. I appreciate it and applaud developers who take the time to find something unique about their distribution and make it so, so that it stands out a little bit better. Makulu has this wonderful thing that they've done. They've got the different icons, a different splash screen. They've got all of their hippopotamus uh, backgrounds that you can choose from, not just one, but a lot, if we minimize that and go into uh, the default desktop settings here you can see that they've got a lot of hippos to choose from all throughout here all kinds of different hippos now if you're wondering if this is the default one the default hippo is actually and I'm not seeing it right now but it's a zoo ah here we go hippo and the kids this is actually what you should see when you first start up Makulu and I thought it was nice and whimsical, but I kind of liked the hippo in the car. For some reason, that spoke to me. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. So, the application menu is using Lancelot, which, you know, I've really grown to like. And I like how they did this. I'll have to figure out some of the stuff that they did. Because when I use it with mine, it kind of moves all these menus over. But when you look it in here, it brings it up over, and I kind of like that. It makes it feel less cluttered, and I and I do enjoy it. I did install Minecraft because I got Minecraft for Christmas for the PC, and I thought, let's see if we can get the real version to work really well on Linux as well, and it does run very good. Very happy with Minecraft on here. Now all I have to do is get a joystick or a controller that can work in Linux really well that will make it so that Minecraft is easy for me to use and not keep getting it confused with the joyce or the controller that I use for Xbox when I do that. And yes, I do own an Xbox, but I've also got a PS3 and a Wii and I've got them all. But I'm not a very good gamer because with my handicap I can't use my right hand very well. You know, if I get that in the picture, I can move my thumb and if I concentrate really well I can move sort of this finger but you see I've got a partial paralysis and my whole right side has limited feeling don't feel that don't feel me hitting that hand at all that whole right hand is numb it's got limited feeling but I have almost no motor skill ability with my right hand other than it getting in the way I'm just slightly double jointed right there <laughs> and with the thumb popping out all the time and not being able to use my right hand, it makes it difficult for me to play games and enjoy. It also makes it very difficult when I have to use a keyboard and a mouse together at the same time because normally I type one-handed and I can type very fast with my left one. But enough about me, Makulu! Came with a few games here. It did come with Steam and Play on Linux, which if you're not familiar with Play on Linux, Play on Linux is kind of a customized version of Wine that allows you to install games and it has worked very well for certain certain games in the past for me I've kind of gotten away to it from it though because yeah, it is what it is it has a few other things here you know, that they installed just a few here and there you can see as I go through I always enjoy it when they put a few extra games in there just kinda of play out of the box where you don't have to install something one thing that was surprising is this did not come with GIMP it did come with image magic and uh, Pinta image editor you know, I've never used Pinta the internet of course it came with chromium which was kind of nice because I have really grown to enjoy chromium and plenty of other internet programs for chatting and IRC. In the multimedia area, I installed GUBC, I believe, and Simple Screen Recorder so that I could do this. And you can see that it did come with Nero, which is interesting because I didn't know that Nero had a Linux flavor out there. And I do believe that uh, 
another distro reviewer talked about that as well that Nero was out there and and was on it for burning which I've always personally used K3B and enjoyed K3B and it has always done me well in office I do believe it comes with a full office suite no it does not you know I was looking at a different distribution recently and all right well you've got your ebook reader though that's great and wonderful and a few K tools you know this is actually very lightweight your typical system and other settings right down here so that's pretty much all that was on there QT4 of course shows up whenever I install the QT development packages needed for simple screen recording the chromium browser if I remember right the flash did not work properly I had to go in there and install what was surprising is I installed Mint Flash and since this isn't a Mint flavor it is incorporating a few Mint abilities and once I did that I was able to get Flash to work but otherwise when I first went into Chromium and went to the yeah I can't remember if that's proper or not Makulu is also a little different in regards to its user ID. When I installed it, I did not tell it to rename the Makulu user, and I was having a little bit of trouble creating a user. For some reason, it doesn't want to let me create a user, so I've just left it as Makulu. It works for me. I can change the password, of course, for Makulu, but that's fine. And I was trying to see if I could show you real quick here see I had to uninstall the Adobe Flash player because it wasn't working now I didn't try reinstalling it but there was a mint flash I believe let's see here see if I can pull that up yeah here we go the mint flash plugin I went ahead and installed it with mint 11 mint flash plugin 11 those two items here and that fixed all the problems I was having with the flash plugin working in chromium now I'm not sure why that is but if I can make it work I sometimes don't care about the what ifs especially on a distribution I may not be keeping around for a long time since I'll be looking at some other things soon now it did come with this ticker here and that is a bug that I found that the ticker sometimes stops on you and also the ticker comes started twice for some reason so if you stop it then you have another ticker still going so I'm not sure if that's a bug or or if there's an issue with the way it installed it when installing the operating system the installation of Makulu went very smoothly you've got a couple options you can do a simple install which just asks you a couple questions and it installs it and you also have an expert installation which can be a little confusing because it gets into asking you a lot of questions that even I was thinking do I need to do that or do I not really need to do that and in fact of this long list of expert questions or do you want to configure X Y and Z I really only needed to configure eh, four or five of maybe two dozen different options but it's really great that you have them there now I did regret that the one is one option were to rename Makulu to a different username and it would have done it all for me wish I would have gone ahead and done that but eh, it's okay uh, but that is one complaint I did have I went into users because I figured well I can change it here and if I go into the add remove users and groups it pulls it up but for some reason it won't let me add and I can go into groups and I can see them and I didn't want to mess around with much of that but it wouldn't let me add a user I wanted to add myself as a user and it wouldn't let me do it I tried even running this as a super user and it still wouldn't let me do that as well so there were some bugs in the user administration that I wasn't crazy about but for a temporary thing it's alright and all in all the pluses on this definitely outweigh the deltas you know it's been a fun little distribution to look at other than what I mentioned about what software it comes with its unique 
look and feel, uh, the flavor base that it's on. Of course, it's on a stable version of Debian. It's it's a good distribution, fun to use, and you could probably make it to work ex for exactly what you wanted if you just needed a a small desktop. It doesn't take up too much space. I think this one was a little bit smaller than some of the others, and it works well. So if you like hippopotamuses, this is the distro for you. Try it out. Makulu Linux. So as I said, I hope everybody had a great holiday. Uh, this will be the last Linux distribution for 2013 because next Friday is 2014. And I am hoping to look at uh, something fun. For 2014. That means there's only a few more months and I will have met my goal of one distribution a week, unique distributions a week for 52 weeks, one year. So whether it's morning, evening, noon or night, whatever you're having, enjoy it. Thank you for watching. I do hope you all enjoyed my Christmas gift. I did Gen 2 Linux, the handbook edition and a quick and dirty install guide of just getting her done. One's about two and a half hours, the other's about 50 minutes. But when you're done, you've got a working Gen 2 system and you just gotta go from there and decide what you wanna use with it. So, anyway, thank you all for watching. Thanks for your comments. Have a great one and we'll talk to you later. Bye.